thousands of veterans who rely on the GI Bill face eviction from their housing or don't have money for groceries or gasoline. It's all because their checks from the Department of Veterans Affairs are late by 30, even 60 days, maybe even more. Washington correspondent Jessica Smith reports on what lawmakers are doing about it. The VA is months behind on thousands of payments for veteran school and housing, and lawmakers say this may just be the beginning. I'm very worried that schools and students have not seen the worst of payment delays. The American Legion says veterans are facing eviction and are being held back from graduation. This week, the VA told Congress the delays are still affecting at least 11,000 veterans who have been waiting 30 days or longer. Congressman Jody Arrington called it unacceptable. Well, this is no small thing. The problems began last year when the president signed the new Forever GI Bill. To allow every veteran to use their GI Bill education benefits at any point in their lives. The VA says the new program overwhelmed its aging computers and software, and officials don't know when the issues will be resolved. We may not have the new software ready for the spring semester. Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke slammed the VA's response. You failed to account for the scope of the problem. Congressman Jim Banks said he wants to know what VA officials knew about the problem and when they knew it. The VA has fallen flat on his face over and over again. This week, several senators, including Senator Sherrod Brown, sent a letter to the VA secretary demanding answers. These kinds of delays are, are simply not tolerable. Lawmakers are calling on the VA to use the funding Congress has given it to get the technology up to date. In Washington, Jessica Smith, ABC4 News.